wonder how these sort of tribulations will stand to these players going forward in their careers, Fiona. Look, as he said there, the French put him in a place they've never been before. What you can, what you can do from that is learn from that. Um, you can't fault the effort. I think he might have been a little bit emotional. They've been through so much mm. in this tournament. And it's obviously a release now at the end and they're going to be disappointed. But they can look back at things that were very positive and I think they will learn a lot. This French unit were absolutely physically massive and maybe Ireland look a little bit tired in the I second half. I think the half. emotion has played its toll. Um, do you think that's that factor yeah, in this evening? It has to, because I think, uh, you know, given what happened, you know, Jack Oliver lost his dad the day before the Fiji game, given, and, and also Andrew, um, Max Wall and Andrew O'Donnell, you know, a number of their colleagues in the squad were friends with, with those boys. Um, it's a lot to go through. Um, it, do, it, it doesn't change the score here, but I think, I said it at half time to you, Tommy, I think they lacked a little bit of zip. Yeah. Um, and some of the tries there, incredible scores, the length of the field, the the, the captain scores a try there, Nushi, and that's phenomenal. That's out of inside the Ireland 22. Um, their back row are outstanding. They pick and go through the middle. He gets a pass and goes length of the field. Ireland looked tired. They slipped off a few tackles. And uh, so I think in, there is an emotional factor to it as well. Um, you cannot take Anna away from France. Mm. There's players in that team there that I said could play in the French senior team at the moment, particularly the scrum half and the number eight. Gazzotti, outstanding. Um, the scrum half, Baptiste Chenu, what a player. Just does, does that make it a little easier for these Irish players and their I, families I to, to the, sort of, I mean, look, when the dust settles, they, I mean, they have so much to I be think proud they of. Known, they, Tommy, they would have known that this is a very good French side. Richie Murphy wasn't going to lie to them and stand in front of them and say, we're going to go out here and just beat these guys. It, they would have highlighted the strengths of the French team. As I said, the evidence is there from the other pool games. So they knew they had to get their best game. Sport doesn't work the way you want it to all the time. Um, and they just lacked a little bit of pace and power at times. And if the game stayed closer for longer, I think, you know, we I wanted to try and get Ireland in the last in 15 the last minutes, minutes yeah. that there was only a score in it if they were behind. But look, France were amazing. And Ireland have nothing to be ashamed of. They and were Fiona, unbelievable. They did the country proud they here. Did indeed, yeah. Fiona, um, you can't forget that this is development rugby. This is age grade rugby. The idea is to bring through players. And I, I heard a, a GA player recently saying, you know, sometimes you're better off losing the minor final because you'll progress then uh, and do better in senior level. I wonder, does so, so experiences like this provide fuel for young players? Absolutely. I mean, they're going to go back and review that game as young players over and over again and see what they could have done differently. But look, they're not going to they're not going to be happy now. But when they get down the line, they'll see they had put in performances throughout the tournament. They've just got areas that they need to improve on. And I think France, what I have to say about France is they did their homework too. France did their homework and uh, France are top of the class uh, in uh, world rugby at under 20s uh, level. Uh, they did a job on Ireland. They did, they've done a job on every single team in this tournament that they've played. Let's